people I'm back with another video and today I am super duper excited about this review you guys one of my favorite youtubers just released her very own poly gel line y'all and it is none other than Evie aka long hair pretty nails Evie I just want to say I'm super proud of you darling I have been watching your channel for a very 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 long time and for you to release your own patty gel let's go I just want to take the time to say I'm super proud of you you are definitely a role model to me you continue to inspire me motivate me um, and just yeah you just do really great things on your channel and thank you for paving the way for a lot of us nail enthusiasts and um, content creators because you are definitely a pioneer especially when it comes to the world of nails so thank you again for being so awesome at what you do you are a beast at these nails you slay it every time and i just again wanted to say congratulations to you super proud of you this is a huge milestone a huge accomplishment for you and it should definitely be celebrated okay so y'all real quick as soon as she dropped the video okay when i saw the title of the video the title of the video was i started my own poly gel line I was scrolling through, I saw that title, and I said, you did what? And then as soon as you click on the video, she starts off by saying, yes, that's right. I was like, girl, super proud of you, darling. As soon as that video ended, baby, I clicked. I went and clicked on her website. I, I, I ordered right away. I didn't hesitate. There was no second thought about it. EV girl, again, I can't say it enough. Proud of you, and I'm super excited to test out your kit. So did y'all see the packaging? I know y'all been admiring it while I have been chit-chatting and isn't it absolutely gorgeous? Wow, it's this really beautiful purple with like this kind of teal green, like this hollow effect. It's really, really beautiful. Love the packaging on this. Has her name on it, Evie. I mean, it's just so cute, y'all, so cute. So on the back of the package here, it does have the instructions. So it tells you how to use the kit okay and let me go ahead and crack it open with you guys here on camera oh my gosh so i'm gonna just use an old cuticle stick here and get it popped open with you guys like so so let's see what these look like obviously i've been looking at everybody's like reviews and everything and these colors look really stunning so let's see what we got here y'all Oh my goodness. First off, loving the packaging. Y'all see this beautiful sleek white? Yeah, that's really nice. Okay. So we have the color So Cute, the color Sweet Life, and the color Amethyst. So um, y'all know I'm kind of new to poly gels, um, but I've not really seen too many poly gels come in white tubes. Maybe one. Um, but this is the first one where it's like all white and then um, the lettering is like purple on here. Really, really cute. Has her name and then her signature name for it, which is Patty Jo, which I really love. That's really cute. Um, this the lid here. It's really nice. This feels like really high quality packaging. Um, it is sealed. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the seal on this one. So this is the So Cute, which is like a really pretty pink color. And then, so yeah, I just want to let y'all get a close-up of this. Super cute. And then on the back, which is nice, it does have the directions on how to use it. So that's that. And then we also have Sweet Life. Okay. Again, beautiful packaging, directions on the back. And then we also have Amethyst, which I think is that really cute purple color. Okay, so that's what that's looking like. And directions on the back. All right, so the first color that we have here is so cute. I do have my swatch sticks ready to go. I'm gonna get the swatching, y'all. I'm curious to see what the consistency is like with these. Let's see. Okay, seems like it should be enough. Oh, this is a really pretty pink. This here is so sweet. I'm sorry, this here is Sweet Life. Like so. Oh, how that's pretty. This here is Amethyst. A little bit more here. Okay, so this is how so cute is this moving. Okay, I'm liking the consistency of this so far. It's a really nice 
it feels really smooth to work with, actually. It's like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's not like thick, it's just really smooth. Yeah, that's, that's an interesting consistency. Okay, I like it. I like it a lot. It's just easy. I'm impressed. And then you see how smooth it is underneath while pressing it, like, it's not like lumpy when you move it around. Wow, okay. I can dig it, I can dig it. That's really pretty, wow, okay. This is like really easy to work with, I'm impressed. I'm gonna try to move it back a little bit. And then smooth it out. Wow, that is a breeze to work with. Okay, so this is the first color here. I'm gonna go ahead and cure it. We have Sweet Life, which is probably, it looks like it's gonna be my favorite. It's so pretty. It's like a clear color. It's like a clear color here with, um, a clear color with Mylar Flakes in it. It is absolutely stunning, oh my goodness. It's really pretty. Yeah, this gel is just like, I mean, this poly gel is just like, super easy to work with. I don't think I've had a poly gel this easy to work with ever. I'm gonna be really excited to try and sculpt my nails with this because, I mean, it's a breeze. It's not moving everywhere. Oh my God, you guys see how pretty this is? Look at this, oh my God, stunning. Okay, let me cure this for 60. And then the last color we have here, this is amethyst. So we're just gonna move that. It's so easy to work with. I'm impressed. As somebody who's new to poly gels, I really like the consistency of this. Like, you don't have to fight the poly gel. It just kind of works with you. It's so smooth. It's a very, very smooth consistency, which is a weird way to describe poly gel, but that's the best way I can think to describe it. This is really nice, okay. So let me go ahead and continue patting that out here. Pat, pat, pat for the patty gel, okay? So yeah, oh my God, that's a really pretty color too. Look at that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cure that for 60. So I am back. I have swatched everything and got it cured. So I'm gonna show you all with all of them look like up close. Again, this is the color so cute, which is how she always said in her videos. And this is what this color looks like. A really pretty soft pink cover with some nice, very, very fine glitters. They have a really beautiful little sparkle to them. I feel like if you saw this out in the sunlight, oh my gosh, it would just look so stunning. So that is so cute. That is so cute. <laughs> the next color here is Sweet Life. Okay. And that is what this color is looking like. It's a really beautiful Mylar that is inside of like a clear poly gel. Isn't that stunning, you guys? Oh, I love it, it's really, really pretty. I love this. And then the last color here is amethyst. That's the last color here, amethyst. And that is what this looks like. It's a really beautiful purple color, okay, with some nice glitter in it, kind of like some gold, kind of hollow-ish glitters. Really more so gold though. How pretty is that? I don't feel like the camera is really doing these colors justice, but this is the three colors here that come in the collection. And yeah, y'all, let's get to this set because I'm ready to go. I'm excited. I already have in mind what I want to do for this set, so let's get into it. Okay, y'all, so I have a I have a look in mind here. So I'm gonna start with So Cute, and I want to do like a sideways French with the pink here and then the purple on the side and then on my ring finger, I wanna do the Sweet Life color. So actually, I'm gonna start with my ring finger cause that's gonna be the easiest for me to do. I'm gonna go into Sweet Life on my ring finger. So I've already prepped my nails. I have on some full cover tips using the Gel X method. Let me go ahead and put the Sweet Life all over my ring finger here and I am gonna be using alcohol as my slip solution. I'm gonna pour a little bit of that on here. 
and let's get the patent, y'all. Let's get the patent, Miss Patty Jail, okay? I'm excited. Man, this is a really pretty color. So I'm gonna just pat it all into place, try to get it close to my cuticle. Okay. So while I'm doing this, I just wanna talk about how amazing the customer service was, you guys. So I actually had an issue with my package and I was so devastated. So like I said at the beginning of the video, I did order this kit as soon as she dropped it. Like as soon as the video was done, I ordered the kit. And a week later, it had said that it delivered, but I never received my package. I had to go to my post office three different times to try and track this package down and they could not find it. They told me that like my mailman had slipped in the ice. Now we did have an ice storm um, during the time that the package was getting delivered. So, you know, I'm pretty sure that's what happened, but I'm still like, okay, I feel sorry for the postman, but where's my patty jail, you know? Um, and so, yeah, they were not able to locate the package. And so I waited a good week and then I finally reached out to um, the Long Hair Pretty Nails uh, customer service email. When I say they were on it, like they emailed me within 24 hours, like the very next business day, and was like, your new kit is on the way. So I was very, very impressed and very, very happy with the customer service, y'all. They will make sure you are taken care of. Like, I mean, they were on it and I was very happy about that. So they sent me out a new order and here I am with my patty gel, y'all. Like, I'm so excited to be working with this. And do y'all see how easy this was? Do, do, do y'all see what's happening here? Do y'all see the shape? <laughs> I've never been able to get a decent shape like this with poly gel. Holy crap. This is really easy to work with. I'm gonna pat it down just a little bit more. Wow. I actually really like this though. This is so pretty. And I feel like I didn't even need as much as I put on. Very impressed here, very impressed. Am I messing up the shape? Oh my God, I think I had it. And now I think I'm messing up the shape, y'all. I got too excited. Let me calm down. What I like about this patty gel, too, is that it is not sticky at all, y'all. I feel like normally when I'm working with different poly gels, like, it gets really sticky. This is not sticky at all. I'm loving it. I hope I didn't put too much alcohol on this. Okay, I think I'm going to just leave this where it's at. Go ahead and cure it. And then I'll be back. So this is what the first nail is looking like. This is really stunning. Y'all see, I was able to get, like, a decent shape on my nail okay it's a little bit thick the way i did it but that's okay y'all i'm liking this shape so far so the next nails like i said i'm gonna go in with so cute and go ahead and i'm gonna do a sideways french so i'm not really sure how much poly gel i need for this but i'm gonna just squeeze like a decent amount like maybe this much i think should be enough okay and then what I want to do is pat it into like a sideways French. So let's see if we can do this together on camera, y'all. Let me see if I can do it this way so I can have a better angle at what I'm doing. I'm just going to start in the back and just kind of get my cuticle area right first. Okay. I'm going to make sure to cover from sidewall to sidewall. This stuff is just really easy to work with, okay? I'm gonna add just a little bit more poly gel here just to fill that in, like so. And look how that blended together. Y'all see that? It blended right together, like no issue. Okay. All right, y'all, I feel like the hype is real on these poly gels, like this is really good. Do y'all see how easy this is to work with though? I'm not good with poly gel whatsoever. When I say I'm on the struggle bus beginner status, for me to get this looking like this so easily, I'm, in, I'm impressed y'all. 
I'm impressed. Y'all go back watch some of my other poly gel videos. I was on the struggle bus and I feel like this is just so easy to mold and work with. Y'all see that? So this is gonna be my sideways fringe. I'm gonna go ahead and cure this, I'll be right back. Okay y'all, so this is what it's looking like so far. Really liking the shape of this, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with amethyst here at the tip and fill in the rest of the nail. So I don't need a lot. I think this should be plenty right here. I definitely wanna make sure I used all three colors in my design. Oh, you know, I forgot to crisping up my edge. That's okay. I think this, I think I did a pretty good job. So I'm gonna just go ahead and finish filling that in. So that looks good to me. I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. I'll be right back. Yeah, this looks really good. Only thing is, is I, I should have um, did my shaping a little bit better, but for not crisping up my, my line here, I think this turned out really good. So I'll try to fix the rest of this and, um, when I do my shaping. But yeah, I'm gonna go through and do the rest of my nails like this, and I will be back, y'all. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cure this. So I'm reading the back of the packaging here. I also forgot to mention too that these are 30 ml bottles. So this is 1.01 fluid ounces, which is really huge. I feel like I still have a ton of product and I've already used a bit. So yeah, I like that it's bigger packaging because I have some other poly gels that are way smaller than this. Um, but on the back it says cure for 30 seconds. So I'm gonna see if me curing it for 30 seconds actually cured the gel. Yes, it did. Wow. I've been leaving it in for 60 seconds and 30 seconds is all you need. That's awesome. So this is what it looks like after a 30 second cure. I'm going to go in with my amethyst and finish up here. Okay, so this is what the nails are looking like so far. I did go ahead and do my thumbnail off camera. So I just need to go ahead and do my pinky nail here. So I'm gonna go ahead and again show you all how I apply this. I'm just gonna use a generous amount of the So Cute. And then I'm gonna go in and pat it on out, get it nice and smooth. Just wanna show you all one more time how easy this stuff is to work with. It's not sticky at all. It's really nice and firm, but also smooth at the same time. I feel like I've never used smooth as a way to describe a poly gel before. But that's like the best way I can describe this. It's really nice and smooth. Like, love working with this. Love working with this. If you are a beginner, new to poly gels, this is a really good beginner friendly poly gel. Like, yeah. And it works really good with the alcohol solution. So, yeah, I'm really liking this, y'all. I feel like the look I'm trying to achieve has been very, very easy to kind of get because the poly gel is really nice and forgiving. Like I really like this consistency. Very, very impressed here. This might be my new favorite poly gel. Might I say it, dare I say it, you know? I'm really liking how this works. Okay, and then you see how I just molded it into shape? And then I'm gonna just pat, pat, pat. Go ahead and form my line again. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. And this only needs 30 seconds to cure you guys. 30 seconds, that's all. I'm absolutely loving this 30 second cure time. So what I forgot to do on all the other nails and I remember to do on my thumbnail is go ahead and wipe off with some alcohol. And I wanna just try and crispen up my line here so that when I go to file, it's gonna be a nice crisp situation happening. But I forgot to do that on my other two nails. So let's see how it goes with my thumb. nice and crisp and I'm gonna go in with amethyst like so
go ahead and finish patting it into shape here, like so. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure for 30 seconds. All right, so this is what we got so far, you guys, okay. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my file. Well, I'm, first I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off the sticky layer off of all the nails. And I have a lint-free wipe here. I'm just going to go ahead and dip it in some alcohol and just wipe all the nails down here so that we can get that sticky layer off. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go through and do some filing. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my e-file and try my best to shape these nails. this is what she looks like after the filing has been done I am gonna go in and just dust everything off because baby dust life I actually really spent some time trying to get the file trying to get my shape right so I hope that the shaping is good when I do this little reveal here so I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a little bit more alcohol and just kind of wipe the nails clean just to see what we got here I think overall the shape looks really really good um, I do wish, like I said, I had a crisp in the lines on these two fingers like I did that one. Because as y'all can see, that line is like really crisp and really nice. These, and they're like okay. And the thumb is just okay too, even though I did crisp in that line up. So yeah, now y'all know me. A set will not be complete without a little bit of bling and a little bit of charmtivity. So we're going to ice this out. I was trying to decide what I was going to do for the charms on this one. So I have these two bling boxes here. And I had some striping tape so I thought about going along this line with silver striping tape you know I hear it's pretty easy to use and then I'm thinking I might go in with either this purple rhinestone here let's see what matches it doesn't really match that too well or either this purple rhinestone which I think that matches a little bit better but yeah I'm thinking about doing like a silver stripe across the nail here This is how everything is looking with the striping tape. Super cute, really liking how that's looking. So I decided I wanted to go in, of course, with a charm and a little bit of bling. I was originally gonna do this one, but it really just wasn't fitting with my set. My name is Rosa, so I thought a rose would be ever so fitting. The bling came out of this little kit here that I got from Shein. I'm using this purple and I'm using this kind of silver, kind of silver grayish kind of rhinestone here. So this one and this one. So I'm gonna go in with my favorite rhinestone adhesive. Y'all already know this Beetle Nail Glue. Be having my rhinestones in place. They don't want to budge when I use it. I'm gonna apply just a little bit of that nail glue. Okay, right at the cuticle. I'm gonna take a purple rhinestone. I have them all shaken out here. So I'm gonna take a purple rhinestone and put it right in the middle. Okay. And then the, the gray ones I'm gonna put on either side of that. Okay, and once you have everything where you want it to be, you'll go ahead and cure for 60 seconds. I am absolutely loving how this is looking thus far. So the last thing left for me to do is just adhere my, my rose charm here. Like so. How beautiful is that? 
love it. All right, so this is how the rose is looking after she has been placed. The last thing for me to do is just to go in with some top coat. I'm just gonna go in with my favorite top coat from Beatles and seal this look off, you guys. I'm so excited for this. Making sure to fully encapsulate it with the top coat and then go over the rose to make sure that the charm doesn't get tarnished. All right, you guys. Ain't she cute though? Oh my gosh. I am absolutely loving how my set turned out, y'all. Miss Evie's Patty Gel. Girl, yes, I am absolutely loving this set. I am a little bit too hype over here. Let me calm down. But yes, y'all, she did it, okay? She is giving. I did a lot of new things with this set, y'all. I did poly gel over a full cover tip. I did some striping tape, okay? I did the, the, the sideways French tip, like, and it came out so beautiful. I am just loving everything about this set. Yes! Okay, I feel like I feel like I did the patty gel justice, y'all. So overall, I am absolutely loving this kit. Evie, you did your thing, girl. This poly gel was so easy to work with. This is actually probably the easiest poly gel that I have ever worked with, and I've worked with a few. So yeah, I am really enjoying how this set turned out. But yeah, overall, really like this kit. The colors were beautiful. The gel performed lovely. They was it was super smooth, super soft, super easy to work with. Um, and I love the fact that it came in a 30 ml tube, so I can do plenty more sets with this. So absolutely loving this kit, you guys. Um, I am going to go ahead and go in with some cuticle oil now. Go ahead and oil up these cuticles and get them nice and right. But yes, I am super, super proud of this set. Let me know what you all think about this set in the comments. If you all have not had a chance to get your hands on the Patty Gel, you definitely should. I think she's actually sold out right now, but if she restocks this, you guys, you definitely need to go get your hands on it because baby, this is it right here. Evie, long her pretty nails. Girl, you did your thing. I am floored at how good this poly gel was. This is probably the best poly gel set I have done to date and it was so easy to do, so easy to work with. So yeah, you did your thing, girl. Super proud of you and can't wait for you to come out with more collections because I will be getting my hands on them, okay? And one more thing, I do wanna remind you all that I am currently hosting a giveaway on my channel. So if you all want to enter that giveaway, definitely check the description box for more details for your chance to win but yeah you guys absolutely love the gel absolutely loving my set um i do upload every tuesday thursday and saturday thursdays in particular on my nail therapy thursdays where i tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails so yeah if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family i would love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and i'll see you in my next video i hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day Bye. Really quick, I thought this would be cute to share with you all. Now y'all don't talk about my handwriting, I got chicken scratch, okay? But this was me planning out my set, right? And this is how it came out. It came out almost exactly how I envisioned it. I said I wanted to add some bling and striping tape to the French tip. This was my Mylar nail. This was the purple at the tip, and then it's so cute here. How cool is that? Yeah, I love being able to plan my sets out. So this was just random, but I wanted to add this in the video and show you all like, this is what the planning process looks like for me. I just draw it out sometimes.